In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate quadratic regression using your Sharp EL531W calculator. So the example I'm going to show you is how to calculate quadratic regression using the given data, the data system. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure any previous data that's in your calculator has been cleared. So you don't want any data in there affecting your current one. What you're going to do is go to mode and hit zero for normal and you just clear previous data. Now what you're going to do is you're actually going to go back to mode, select one for stats and since we're doing a quadratic regression you're going to select two. Now we're going to enter in all these data points. So what you're going to do is 29, see this function here, STO, you're going to select that that's your x value. Then you're going to put 1.6 for your y value. And you're going to select the one next to it, the m plus t. And that'll put in your y value. And as you go along, it's going to count your, your, the number of data you've entered. So that's your first one. So repeat 50 STO. M plus. That's your second one. 74. STO. 38. M plus. 103. STO. 46.4. M plus. And the last one. You're at 4. So 118. The fifth one and 48 m plus. So we have five data points. Now I'm just going to hit the on off just to clear. What you're going to do is you want to find out your a, b, and c value. And the equation that you're going to get the values in this form. So the a is just your constant, the b is what goes beside your uh, variable with the exponent 1 and your c is what goes beside your squared value. Okay, so you're going to hit recall on cl and a and you have your a value and then you hit again recall on cl right beside your sto and the B, so you'll see the A and B are on top of the bracket. So the A is on top of your open bracket and your B is on top of your close. So select that. And there you have your B value. And your C value is on top of the multiplication key. So you can see it right there. It's in green. And again, you're going to select recall. And press it. And there you have your A, B, and C value from your calculator for a quadratic regression using the Sharp EL531W. For more videos on how to use this calculator, please subscribe to my channel.